This short video is an introduction to bunds. Future videos will cover design and testing. A bund is a secondary containment whose purpose is to contain any leak or spill from the primary containment. In this photograph, the tank is the primary containment. The wall surrounding the tank is a secondary containment. The most common type of bund is a concrete or block bund, usually enclosing a large tank. This type of bund is termed local containment. An alternative type of local containment is a sump. This comprises a pit directly below the tank or drums. The pit is covered by a grid at ground level, usually a steel mesh or concrete slats. This arrangement allows easy access to the drums by fork trucks. The alternative to local containment is remote containment. This may comprise a low curb around the primary containment and a channel or pipe to transfer any spill to the remote sump, lagoon or underground tank. Bonds have to have sufficient capacity to contain the volume likely to be released in an instant. For a single tank, the general rule is that the bond must contain 110% of the tank volume. Where there is more than one tank in the bond, the general rule is more complex, and this will be covered in a later video. So, what material should bonds be built on? The most common material in the UK is reinforced mass concrete, generally either to BS8007 or CIRA 163. In Ireland, block bonds are very common. Block bonds have a significantly higher failure rate than reinforced mass concrete bonds as they are prone to cracking, leaks between the blocks and through the blocks. So, how can you tell the difference between reinforced mass concrete bonds and block bonds? Don't they look the same? Reinforced mass concrete bonds tend to have a smooth surface and there is usually evidence showing where the shuttering was in position. With block bonds, the individual blocks are sometimes visible. Or the blocks may be covered with a render of concrete. The surface of the render will be rough. There are a few other types of bonds which are worth mentioning. The first is a self-bonded tank. This has a tank within a tank. If the inner tank fails, the outer tank will retain the spill. Most of these are made of plastic and care should be taken to locate them away from traffic. Another type of bond is a sump pallet, usually designed for storing drums or IBCs. These are purpose designed to meet the general capacity requirements. Yet another type of bond is the bonded storage cabinet. This has a sump in the base to catch spills. So, how should you assess bonds? In the UK, most regulators call for regular visual inspections. Hydrostatic testing is only required for newly built bonds before they go into service. In Ireland, EPA regulated sites generally have to have bonds assessed by means of a hydrostatic test every three years. In certain well-defined circumstances, a visual inspection by a chartered engineer is allowable. Testing of bonds will be covered in a later video. For further details on bonds, bond design and testing, please contact us on any of the numbers shown.